Hi, we've made it to May. It's May 1st. I'm Mike Stanton, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Grant, let's start with you. A uh, little bit lower yields across the week. Uh, what was happening in the markets? So, uh, thanks, Mike. The uh, credit impacts related to COVID-19 are obviously still front and center, uh, but the market has definitely stabilized a bit. We've the 10-year Treasury has been range-bound for two weeks now, basically between uh, 50, um, 57 basis points and 66 basis points, which is uh, very unusual. In the 30-year, same thing, between a 117 and a 127. So uh, very little uh, volatility in Treasuries. During that, over that same period, munis have underperformed, so ratios have uh, have um, you know materially uh, increased, um, and so that actually has has led to a better market tone generally as as munis have uh, have cheapened up. They also have cheapened up quite a bit to corporates, and so uh, it's interesting to see. You know, Boeing can come to market with twenty five billion dollar deal, and and MTA has to postpone a, a nine hundred million dollar deal. So uh, you know, we're still uh, munis are still struggling a little bit, but. There is a there is a little bit of an ease uh, to the market. Uh, secondary wise, we had you know another good week. We did about 83 million uh, across you know 21 different credits, so uh, that capped a record month uh, for BAM um, in April. And so you know again, it's the same theme of credit concerns, steeper yield curve. Uh, we've had higher insurance penetration across, uh, especially in that double A rated category. Uh, and we've also seen increased activity from SMA uh, managers who typically are a little bit shorter on the curve, uh, but that has also um, led to uh, to a much better environment for uh, for us in the secondary. Um, the uh, Lipper this week uh, outflow is about 1.3 billion. That's after two weeks of modest inflows, but um, there's still there's still kind of a lack of conviction in the market. So uh, I think dealers, uh, you know, between Pen up new issue supply uh, flows that are, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, back and forth. Um, there's just a, there's a, uh, I would say, kind of a relative lack of liquidity. Dealer balance sheets. Uh, I think investors are are cautious about spending cash, and so um, so I think that's kind of the situation we're in. Mitch McConnell this week just quickly, you know, he he came out with a statement uh, mentioning. You know, states and bankruptcy in the same in the same breath, and uh, and that was enough to knock uh, spreads uh, wider on on a couple of the state geo names uh, that we follow. California, we actually wrapped uh, some California geos in the secondary double A AA credit, but um, so it's just a, a jittery market, and those comments did not help from the Senate Majority Leader. Right. Hopefully some of the subsequent headlines, it sounds like maybe that's a negotiating position. We'll probably know more next week, right? Uh, the House of Representatives is planning to introduce its phase four stimulus package. Um, the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that's going to include direct aid for uh, near full, state and near full governments. So we'll see where that, uh, that works right. out. Um, Brian, you know, Grant uh, mentioned some interesting things. You know, there is a bias among investors towards higher quality credits. Those are the credits getting priced in the new issue market. How did that play out for what BAM uh, was insuring? Yeah, Mike, uh, the new issue market continued to make some progress, as Grant mentioned, a nominally weaker market overall uh, with buyers kind of, you know, picking and choosing their spots and, and dealers certainly uh, looking to find levels that clear um, versus taking on balance sheets. So net-net, uh, we saw a little over $7 billion again priced this week, which was a good sign. Uh, some of the bigger deals uh, that were on day-to-day -day status, like uh, Great Lakes, uh, finally did come to market, so the market digested that. As Grant mentioned, uh, MTA did get postponed, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens on that front. Uh, but overall, a very active market, both negotiated, competitive. Uh, there was uh, some additional progress on the taxable side of the market, uh, so some of those spreads are starting to somewhat normalized to where deals are getting done. Uh, so we're, we're seeing some of that come back. Uh, what that meant for BAM was another really solid week. We did uh, about 280 million on the new issue side, uh, over 150 million competitively, uh, another 100 plus million on the negotiated side. And as Grant mentioned, you know, we're seeing that spread out across the credit spectrum. So of our biggest deals priced this week, uh, 100 million for Davis USD in California, um, 
is a, uh, an A1 AA minus rated credit uh, that was insured by Citigroup. And then on the negotiated side, uh, Marysville Water and Sewer uh, was priced and that, uh, that carries a AA3 underlying rating. So those were two of our biggest deals in the primary this week and uh, carrying pretty substantially uh, higher underlying rating. So, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of interest. Uh, we're seeing uh, insurance add a lot of liquidity. And it's definitely worth noting that um, for the month of April, uh, insured penetration ticked up to about 6.9% uh, from, uh, from about 5.6% where it was for all of uh, Q1. Uh, so definitely seeing increased demand on the insurance side. And I'll just throw in the Marysville, Ohio transaction was a BAM Green Star Green Bond transaction that uh, provides sustainable water and wastewater services. So that was uh, recognized under that program as well. Um, Brian, uh, next week's calendar, as we've discussed, uh, it's always uh, a little bit uncertain on what exactly is going to get priced, but what are, what are you expecting to see? Uh, it, the market's probably, you know, ho hoping to hoping to see probably another, you know, six, seven billion or so. Um, I think there could be, you know, there could be some surprise to the upside if a couple of the bigger deals do come to market. So if we're in the seven to eight billion camp, um, again, uh, for BAM, we've got another solid uh, week of pipeline. Uh, we've got uh, probably north of about 120 million or so uh, that have, that's, that's been awarded. Uh, and again, you know, that could go up if some of the day-to-day -day deals come off the calendar. Uh, and then on the competitive side, we plan on bidding about uh, probably 40, 45 deals or so in the competitive market, which will be very active next week. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.